Okay, so I'm having a bit of trouble. Um, Hey everyone, this is Veshi here. So today we're going to unbox the newly introduced ROG Maximus Z790 Dark Hero. Uh, I think it was released in late uh, 2023 along with the 14th generation Intel CPUs. Um, okay, let's unbox it. Um, so it's, okay, so the, in case you are wondering what is the difference between this motherboard and the standard hero motherboard is that it's obviously it's darker it has this crystallized um, panel this rog panel this rog rgb panel and according to my information it also let me take it out okay so i'm having a bit of trouble um yes okay so the difference between this motherboard like and uh, the dark hero and the uh, hero motherboard is that this one has like i said before it has so it has this led panel which the hero doesn't have it does have an led panel but this one is i think it's yep um other than this i think it also has an extra usb3 port uh, this one which that uh, standard hero doesn't have and this one also comes with the back plate and i'm sure the standard hero also has a black plate plate other than that i think the reason um asus introduced this dark hero is because they wanted to release uh, a premium board along with the 14 gen intel motherboard this is my opinion i can be wrong as well okay let's put this board down and let's have a look at the accessories Sticker. Okay, as far as the accessories, accessories are concerned, I think these are the stickers. Um, I'm not a big fan of stickers, but uh, they come with this. Okay, then we have this. I have no idea. It's uh, I think it's some kind of a warranty card. I don't know what this is, but it has something to do with the warranty of your motherboard. And we have the standard manual. And then... We have a lot of stuff. We have, I think this might be a USB or a keychain. I don't know. Yep, this is a USB. And I hope it has, I don't know. Okay. Um, we have the, I think this is the Wi Fi. Okay, this is the Wi Fi. And we have SATA cables. We have, okay, we, this is the keychain. Yes, this is the keychain. And we also have a bunch, uh, this, these are for the M2 uh, SSDs, they are thermopads. And that's it, maybe we, we have, yeah, I think this is for the casing. And that's it. Hey guys, so I'm back. I wanted to show you all how the motherboard actually looks. So it looks great as you can see. There's not much to show you down below because I have a full size, I think it's a 12 inches graphic card. Yes, I think. And that's why uh, down below it's kind of useless showing you guys, but it looks great. Um, so to my surprise, there was one thing which was, it was a huge surprise for me. That was that the Q code is actually showing the CPU temperature. So in the beginning I was like, why is this Q code fluctuating a lot? And of course, I found out later on that it's my CPU temperature and obviously I liked it a lot because um, I like looking at my CPU's temperature because obviously I've invested a tad bit as you can see on the uh, custom liquid cooling of my CPU. And previously I was using the Maximus 11 code on my old 9900K. Right now I'm using a 4900K. So on that motherboard, it just showed the Q code. Q code is basically, I'm sure you guys know, it's just the, whatever is going on in your motherboard. So um, I was very surprised, I was very happy. And I also found out that uh, in the recent uh, motherboards, like for the past two or three years, it's a very normal thing for a, a motherboard to show CPU temperature. Okay, now 
As you can see, for me, the aesthetic of my computer is very important because obviously I've invested quite a lot. And this is one of the reasons I got the, um, the ROG Maximus Dark Hero. I know performance matters a lot, but in the end, for me, aesthetic is as important as the performance because like I said, I spent quite a lot on my uh, PCs, uh, lighting, etc, etc. So first thing is first, let's talk about this. It looks great, but the downside is that uh, it's very shiny and it's glossy because of which my rear 120mm fan is reflecting on it. And I can't do anything other than turning this off. And I can't turn this off because I like looking at it. I can't turn this off because I like looking at it too. So I'm, I've kind of gotten used to it because it has been a week. Other than that, um, I would totally recommend the Maximus Z790 Dark Hero. It looks great, it looks beautiful because I have the black uh, accent to my whole rig as you guys can see. And I really like this motherboard, so I would totally recommend it. And last but not the least, if you like this video, do hit the like button. And if you can press the bell icon, it would really help me a lot. And of course, subscribe as well. And see you guys in the next unboxing video.